Hello my fellow YouTubers, it's your boy Travis once again. Yes, it's been a while since I talked about games like Spyro, so I'm just gonna cut to the chase and we'll get started. I've played Reignited, loved it. I've played CTR Nitro Fuel, loved it. I've seen the Sonic movie, loved it. I've seen what the Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bond remake looks like, loving it so far. Okay, now we can get to the video. So before we begin, I have a very special guest that will be joining me today. Care to say hello? Hey everyone, it's Crystal Blazier, big Spyro fan. How's it going, Travis? Hey there, glad to have you here. And it's going great. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about a particular part of the Spyro the Dragon history that I'm sure many of you are aware of. And that is The Legend of Spyro Movie. The Legend of Spyro Movie was a planned film based on the Legend of Spyro trilogy, a reboot in the Spyro franchise. It was mainly going to be based on the storyline of the first game, The Legend of Spyro A New Beginning. The movie was originally going to be released sometime in 2009, a year after the release of Dawn of the Dragon, the third and final installment in the trilogy. Then it was delayed for 2010 and eventually cancelled. It was revealed by the Legend of Spyro film writers, the Altier brothers, that Activision pulled the plug on the film and other related projects so they can take the Spyro franchise in a different direction. And in 2011, we found out what that direction was. The direction that Crystal Blazier is talking about is none other than the Skylanders franchise. The Toys to Life franchise that many of you who are fans of Spyro are aware of. And when it was first revealed, some fans were, uh, not really happy about it. And keep in mind, that was years before the original Spyro trilogy was brought back in HD as the Reignited trilogy thanks to Toys for Bob, the same developers of the Skylanders franchise along Vicarious Visions and Beanox. But we're getting off topic. This is the cancelled movie we're talking about. Right after the movie was cancelled, fans were... understandably upset. To be honest, I was too. Spyro fans of the original Spyro and the Legend of Spyro trilogy were eager to see the Spyro character on the big screen. The film itself also would have been the first of a film franchise based on the Legend reboot. So when news of its cancellation spread, fans who have been following the film's progress through news reports weren't happy, and some are still disappointed to this day. I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel the same about the cancellation. But at the same time, I feel like it's for the best that the movie was cancelled. And here's where the reason comes in. And yes, research has been done. Remember when Crystal Blazer just mentioned the Altieri brothers? Altieri? Does that sound right? Altier? Altieri? You know what, I'm gonna say Altieri because it's really hard to pronounce. Daniel Altieri was one of them who was writing the movie. Why am I bringing this up? Well, it's because he was a writer from Norm of the North and the live-action Woody Woodpecker movie from 2016 and 2017. I haven't seen either of those movies, but I hear they're pretty bad. In fact, I've heard from many reviewers time and time again that Norm of the North is considered one of the worst animated movies of all time. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that we dodged a bullet with this movie. Actually, no, it wasn't a bullet. It was a nuke. <laughs> Not just that, Travis. The film was also going to be produced by John Davis, the one who worked on the Aragon film adaption. Said film was poorly received, mostly due to the plot being altered and cut so much. It was a cluttered mess. Plus, the Legend of Spyro movie was set under a $20 million budget. Pretty cheap for an animated movie. I can't imagine what the animation quality would have been like with that amount of budget. Jeez, Aragon was that bad? I've never seen it myself, but that's a big yikes for me. Okay, so you'd think we'd end the video right there, right? Well, no, not really. There's still one more thing that we should talk about. You see, after both the Insane Trilogy and the Reignited Trilogy were released, fans of both Spyro and Crash have been wanting some kind of TV show or movie made out of them. And if you think about it, it would actually make sense considering there was a Skylanders Netflix series that premiered in 2016 and ended after only three seasons. But back to the topic at hand, what if there were to be a new Spyro movie based on the original and the Reignited trilogy? Who should make it? Well, honestly, I don't know. So, just to make our choices easier, let's start with the ones who shouldn't make the Spyro movie. Hmm, while I'm not familiar with most bad animation companies, I know one particular one, The Asylum. This company's done animation for some movie ripoffs and several sci-fi television movies I've watched in the past. And I definitely wouldn't recommend these guys doing a film on the Spyro franchise. Oh yeah, 
the Asylum. I've heard about those guys thanks to Staper Spark, but the less said about the Asylum, the better. Okay, so what's next on the Shouldn list? Well, there is one obvious company that I really don't trust to make a Spyro movie, and that is Disney. Now, let me just clarify real quick, I love their animated movies. The Hunchback of Notre Dame and Zootopia are some of my favorites to come from Disney. So, why is Disney a bad idea? Well, I can think of a few reasons, but the most obvious reason is that they have a very questionable habit of remaking their old movies. Plus, the fact that anything released by Disney becomes their property kind of worries me. As much as I love their animated movies, I don't think they're trustworthy enough to make a Spyro movie. So, definitely another one on the shouldn't list. So, what's next? Well, the next one is Pixar. Now, just to clarify, I love Pixar. I'm actually more of a fan of Pixar than Disney. In fact, my favorite movies to come from Pixar are by far Finding Nemo, Inside Out, and WALL-E. And let me tell you, the late 2000s were a time to be alive. But here's why I don't think Pixar should make a Spyro movie. Aside from the fact that they work with Disney, Pixar is mostly about making original films aside from the sequels. And they never make an adaptation out of other medias, especially video games. Now, as of making this video, I could be wrong, but I doubt they'll still work on any adaptations of video games. So, um, yeah, I don't think Pixar's a good idea. Okay, so what else is there? Paramount? Yeah, definitely a no for that. While I did enjoy the Sonic movie, here's a friendly reminder of what Paramount gave us before they delayed the movie. Uh, meow? Come on. That right there is the sole reason why I don't trust Paramount. Okay, so that's my list of who shouldn't make this Spyro movie. And now that we've drawn the short straw, let's focus on who we think should make the movie. And we're going to be looking at some good animation studios such as DreamWorks, Sony Animation, and Illumination. Ah, DreamWorks is an excellent candidate for making a Spyro film. I'm more familiar with their works on the Kung Fu Panda film franchise, How to Train Your Dragon, and Shrek. Sony Pictures Animation is a good candidate too especially with their work on Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, the Angry Bird movies, and Hotel Transylvania. You know, if you think about it, it actually makes a lot of sense, considering Sony Animation did make two movie adaptations of Angry Birds and Illumination is already producing a Super Mario movie. But I personally think DreamWorks would be the best candidate. And it's not just because the animations in How to Train Your Dragon are really well done. It's because they have made movie adaptations before. So if DreamWorks can make a film adaptation of books, and if they can make a film adaptation of toys, then I think they can make a film adaptation of video games. Plus, they've made some really great movies too. Minus the Boss Baby and Shark Tale, but we don't talk about those movies. And they have made some of my absolute favorite animated movies too. Also, I did have my own idea for a potential Spyro movie though, and I've been looking at the Sonic movie and the Ratchet and Clank movie for inspiration. I like the Ratchet and Clank movie, don't at me. The story would be inspired by Spyro 1. Nasty Nork and his minions would be much more threatening, which would explain why some of the dragons are talking smack about him, and the story would also explain how Spyro and Sparks met and became an inseparable duo. Any thoughts on that, Crystal Glacier? Hmm, it does sound good, but to be honest, I would go for an original adventure for a Spyro film. Since the games aren't that story driven with only short interactions between Spyro and other characters. In the games, Spyro basically has to go through different worlds in order to progress through the main story. Each individual world has a story, inhabitants to talk to, bad guys to beat, and extra side quests that it may be cramming too much to the main plot, you know? Plus, there are chances that some plot points may be cut out or altered, and characters may have different personalities. It will be like a similar scenario to the Ratchet and Clank movie. Hmm, you know, you make a good point. Sadly, that was all I could come up with, so I'm not really too sure how else I'll be able to write a Spyro movie. But either way, I'm hoping that one day there will be a Spyro movie, and I'm also hoping it's a good movie. And I'm really hoping it's made by DreamWorks, since, well, they made some great adaptations. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you, Crystal Glacier, for joining me. It was my pleasure, Travis. Thanks for having me. It was my pleasure to have you, too. I'm hoping to have you again in the future. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content, and ring the bell so you'll be the first to see a new video. That being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.